presentation of this program is made possible by a grant from General Foods Corporation, by public television stations, and by grants from the Ford Foundation and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. of Oberlin, Ohio. Dear new Zoomers, I want to be the first to welcome you all on to Zoom. It's a really cool idea, and I'm afraid that you're going to have an awfully tough time living up to the reputation the old Zoomers set. But I have confidence in you and Zoom. Lots of luck. Signed, Becky Danzel. Thank you, Becky. We'll try. <laughs> game sent in by Kelly McCarthy of Manchester, New Hampshire. See if you can figure out the rules as we play The Minister's Cat. <laughs> the Minister's Cat is an amazing cat. The Minister's Cat is an aquatic cat. The Minister's Cat is an antique cat. The Minister's Cat is an awful cat. The Minister's Cat is an avocado cat. The Minister's Cat is an ace cat. The Minister's Cat is an animal cat. The Minister's Cat is an oochie cat. An Uchi. 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 Yeah. 
minister's cat is an embarrassing cat. The minister's cat is an ecology cat. The minister's cat is an ecology cat. The minister's cat is an egg cat. The minister's cat is an egg yolk cat. The minister's cat is an eggy cat. The minister's cat is an elephant cat. The minister's cat is an elephant cat. Oh no! She said elephant. No, she said egg cat. Oh no! 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 Lots of kids wrote in ideas on how to make hand puppets, and I'm going to show you one way to make them. All you need is some yarn, some tape, and a couple of magic markers. First, you, I'm going to draw the lips. I like mine dark. Now the eyes. Now the eyebrows. Now you need for some hair, some yarn and some tape. And you just stick that on. And that's all you have to do. You can make it laugh and you can make funny faces with it. See, you can make it happy, sad. Can you do that? Try it at home. Hey Charlie, ready to go for a ride? Dear Zoom, I have a sister Beth who has been riding Morgan horses since she was about five years old. Let me take this chain off your nose. Morgans, which came from New England, are the first American breed of horses. That's a good boy, Charlie. Oh, stop it. I think Beth would make a great Zoom guest. Signed, Grace Jackson. Your forelock looks like a mess. Look at all your Okay, Charlie, let's go. When I train Charlie for a show, I have to work not only on how he performs, but also on how I handle him. So the training period is really for both of us. When I'm training Charlie to do a figure eight, I need to use my commands of my hands and my legs um, very accurately so that he knows how to do his circles nice and round and so they're usually about the same size. Good boy. Very good. Easy. Easy. Boop. With Charlie, I have to work on the stretching exercise because when you're in a show and you line up and the judge comes to look at you, you want your horse to look his best. Good boy. Good boy. Nice, easy jump. Okay. Good boy, Charlie. Easy. I feel proud about training Charlie because when he goes to a show and does well, even if he doesn't get a ribbon, as long as he pleases me. It does make me feel good because I think that I have done something to make him a good horse.
after working with Charlie for an uh, afternoon. I love just going up in the woods and letting him go and galloping up the road. Sometimes Charlie and I are just in our own world because nobody's there and I can just sit back on him and let him take me for a ride. He's my friend because if I get mad or I want to talk something over with somebody, but it's not something that I want to tell my sister or my parents or my friends or anything, but I want to tell somebody that won't repeat it to anybody, then I go out and I can talk to Charlie, and I know he'll never tell anybody. <laughs> Zoom will resume after this important message. Hi, bye, folks. Subby, my bye, tubby. Dabo, dabay, lubbo, grubbay. Abay, yabuz, abba, bubby, dabba, bubby, tabooth, pubbaste. Laba, tabooth, pubbaste, dabba, mabex, yabbo, tabooth, brubbush, smabile. Now back to Zoom. <laughs> Brooklyn, New York, sent us a story in verse about a girl and her boyfriend. It's called Late Date. Poor little Mildred sat in her chair, waiting for her boyfriend, pulling on her hair. Oh, where, oh, where is Tommy? It's the third time he didn't come. He's probably out with another girl while I stayed bored at home. All these nights while standing me up, he's having the time of his life. By the time I get through to him, he'll probably have a wife. Not far from there, in another house, is Mildred's boyfriend, Tommy Mouse. Where is Mildred? She's late again. My anger's getting worse. If she doesn't come in a few more minutes, I'm going to start to curse. But before my anger makes me fall, I think I'll give her a little call. While Tommy's having a ball, I think I'll give him a little call. Busy, busy, what'll I do? Busy, busy, I can't get through. A busy signal, that sign is bad. Now I'm getting really mad. He's probably calling a girl with a real nice name. By the time I get through to him, he'll be framed. So Mildred is talking to another boy. That really makes me mad. When I see her, her shape will be real sad. So Mildred's boyfriend, Tommy Mouse, set off to go to Mildred's house. Hello, hello, who's knocking at my door? It's me, Tommy. You've made me very sore. Come in, come in. What took you so long? I thought you were coming for me, but now I see I'm wrong. Weren't you supposed to come for me? Isn't that true? I don't know a bit about that, but I'm going to the movies. Would you like to come along, too? Of course, dear Tommy. I do, I do, I do. That's our little story. The two of them left friends. We're out of time and out of rhymes, so I guess this is the end. If you have a story or play you'd like to see on TV, write Zoom, Box 350, Boston, Mass, 02134. Can you do this? It's called step through the stick. First you put your leg around your arm like this without letting go of the stick. Put the stick around your back like this. Then take your legs out. You should end up like this. It's not as easy as it looks. Try it at home. Aqua City by Katherine Otterson of Rehoboth, Massachusetts. It was 1986. All 
Although man had been fighting pollution for many years, it had finally become so great that he was forced to take refuge beneath the sea. There he built vast and beautiful cities. These underwater or aqua cities had huge bubble-shaped domes to keep oxygen in. The air was pumped from the surface through a filter to keep out the pollution. The people inside were colored a glowing aqua blue. To get from house to house, we ride on conveyor belts. And when you're hungry, you can get a three-course meal at the automatic food center with the push of your finger. And at night, when you're sleepy, you go to bed on soft, rubbery plastic filled with heated water and dyed nice, restful colors. And here's the pitch. TVs are huge screens that cover the wall. And at school, all the books have mini stereo records inside that give you all the help you need. Less work for the teachers, see? Today's lesson begins on page 33. Telephones are made of clear plastic with small glass screens. Now you can see the person you're talking to. Hello? The playground is high above the houses on a huge platform, and it's the most beautiful part of the city. There's artificial grass all over that people and animals can eat, and there are atomic swings and nuclear slides. And a glass barrel filled with melted chocolate to drink. In the middle of the playground, right under the big globes hanging from the dome, there are glass fountains sparkling with goldfish. And there are museums and libraries and art galleries. Aqua cities kept in touch with each other through special devices on the outside of the domes. The sound waves from the code tapper of a city were recorded on tape to be cracked by the people who sent news around the city. The big news of 1986 was that an explosion had cracked another city's building. People screamed as polluted air and seawater poured into their city. The rescue team set up a draining system for the broken pipe just in time and pumped out all the water that came through. They evacuated all the people from the city. Soon, they had the leak under control, but it was a long time before anyone could return to the ruined city. A tiny computer helped scientists solve problems like that, but they hadn't yet solved the problem of pollution itself. By 1986, they still thought they needed a few hundred years more, but in the meantime, Aqua City was a big step forward. That's what Catherine thought the world will look like in 1986. How do you think it will look? Write soon and tell us. Abam spubby coming, abba wubby dubba wubby. Abba wubbing wubbage dubba, yabu cubbin lubbern, abbeth yabu wubbon tubbu. Subbin dubbis abbin abbin bubba lubbo, wubbeth yabu nubbing abbin abba drubbis abbon of it, abbin dubba stubbamp, abbin wubbil subbin yabu abba zabun cubbard, wubbeth dubba abbin strubbuck shubbins. Rubbite zabum, babbox thrubby fubbav abbo. Baba stubbin mabas, abo tabu waban thrubi fabor. Abo kabe. idea comes from Lynn Wilson of Winder, Georgia, who says, here's a game called Cracker Whistle. Cracker Whistle. Each person gets four crackers, stuffs them into his mouth all at once and eats them. Then you try to whistle. Whoever whistles first wins. Okay, Dave and I are going to try this. And to find out what's inside today. I'm going to see this. this oh, no, you can't. Oh, don't oh, no, I can't whistle this. Don't laugh. You can't laugh. Call it. I have to practice my whistling. Hold it, don't make me any good. <laughs> 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 I'll wait from 
Did you ready? Was a push, there was I'm about one, two, yeah. three. One, two, three. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Keep going. Come on, we're so fake. Come on, come on, Dave. Come on. <laughs> sometimes, and he told us about it. When my cat got killed, I felt only for about a week. Because, I, you know, I love that cat. I, I saw the cat and I picked it out when it, it was really little. I picked it out and my mother says, if it's a boy, it can keep it, so luckily it was, and so I kept it, and I had it for about a year, and then a car um, hit, hit, hit its head and fractured its skull. You playful kid. And my mother brought it to um, the hospital, and when she took it, took it inside, it was dead. I, I just ran upstairs and started crying. I got a lot of attention, but it still, I still was lonely inside about my cat, and like I didn't, ha I felt like I didn't have any friends anymore because I, 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 you know, I liked that cat. But I got another cat that looked exactly like, it, except it didn't have a brown nose. Do you have feelings you'd like to share with us? Write Zoom and tell us about them. How the Frog Got His Jump by Andrew Slater of Weston, Mass. The elephant invited the frog to the tea party. The frog said, what done? The elephant said, at three o'clock. The frog said, okay. So the frog comes. The elephant said, a couple of minutes early. The frog asked, Am I the only one coming? The elephant said, Yes. So then they go into the living room and they have some tea. Just as the frog gets up, the elephant accidentally steps on him and the frog went up in the air. The frog says, Do it again. So the elephant did it again and then the frog went up in the air again. Then the frog tried it by himself and it worked. And that's how the frog got his jump. Who is Fanny Dooley?
Presentation of this program was made possible in part by a grant from General Foods Corporation and by public television stations. Mm -hmm.